Discover the secrets to financial success as Robert Kiyosaki reveals the four assets that outshine cash in today's economy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever been under the illusion that simply parking your money in the bank will make it grow? Unfortunately, that's a common financial misconception and, to some extent, a financial trap. But hold on, there's good news. In this video, we're delving into the financial wisdom of Robert Kiyosaki, a renowned financial educator who challenges conventional thinking. So, join us as we uncover the secrets of financial success and explore the four assets that can elevate your financial standing. But I say to young people like you, there's six basic words to financial literacy and financial education. And the six words again are income, expense, asset, liability. And the last two words are the words cash flow. And that's why the game is called cash flow. And the secret to being rich is not a college education, but can you control cash flow? Cash flow quadrant explained. Let's begin our journey by understanding the cash flow quadrant, a groundbreaking concept that helps us comprehend our financial position and options. This quadrant divides people into four distinct groups, each with its unique way of generating income and building wealth. Employee quadrant. Starting with the employee quadrant, where most of us find ourselves, employees work for others, exchanging their time and skills for a fixed paycheck. It offers stability, but often lacks control and significant wealth-building opportunities. Employees have limited control over their time and rely on their jobs for financial security. Self-employed quadrant. Here, individuals have taken the leap to start their own businesses or work as freelancers. They have more income control and flexibility, but they might get caught in the solopreneur trap, where they are the driving force behind everything. This quadrant provides more autonomy, but can be demanding and limit growth potential. Business Owner Quadrant This is where true financial independence lies. Visionary entrepreneurs build and scale successful businesses, create systems, hire capable teams, and leverage others' efforts for substantial income. They can create wealth and passive income streams that extend beyond their personal involvement. This quadrant offers significant growth potential, wealth accumulation, and the freedom to focus on what truly matters. Investor Quadrant This is where people make their money work for them. Investors wisely allocate their resources into various assets like stocks, real estate, and businesses, strategically investing and building diversified portfolios. They generate passive income and long-term financial security, understanding the power of compounding and leveraging it for their wealth growth. Assets that outshine cash. Now that you're familiar with each quadrant, let's assess where you are and explore the four assets that can propel you forward. The reason I make more money is because it's not what I'm doing what I love. I do sometimes what I hate so I can have the assets that I love. I love having a business. You know, if I didn't have a business, you wouldn't be here. Darren wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have a CEO and president. I wouldn't have accountants. I wouldn't have attorneys. So the business affords me the lifestyle I want. Business asset. First up is the business asset. According to Robert Kiyosaki, building a business is a potent path to wealth. He emphasizes that the wealthiest people in the world build businesses. Whether you start your own venture or invest in an existing one, business ownership offers limitless income potential and long-term financial success. Just look at trailblazers like Jeff Bezos, who founded Amazon, creating not only personal wealth, but also opportunities for generational wealth transfer. Real Estate Investing in real estate is our second asset. Real estate ownership can be a game changer, providing both rental income and potential appreciation. With a strategic approach, you can generate passive income and enjoy the benefits of property ownership. It's a tried and true way to build wealth over time. Moreover, real estate not only offers long-term appreciation potential, but also serves as a tangible asset for future generations. Big names like Donald Trump and Sam Zell have made fortunes through shrewd property investments. An important tactic in real estate is leveraging depreciation for tax savings. Depreciation lets property owners deduct a portion of the property's value over its useful life, which can lower taxable income. Let's break it down. 
Imagine Miles buys a rental property for $300,000. The IRS allows him to depreciate the property over 27 and a half years. Thanks to this, Miles saves up to $11,000 on his annual income taxes. While his property value grows, depreciation helps reduce his tax liability. It's like a magic spell that legally lessens your taxes while your investment thrives. In simple terms, depreciation acts as a protective shield against taxes, allowing you to keep more money in your pocket. It's like having a secret weapon to slash your tax burden while your investment keeps expanding. I am a billionaire in debt. You know why? Because I get tax breaks for borrowing money. The more money I borrow, the less tax I pay. Kiyosaki often stresses the importance of mastering the tax code and using tax laws wisely to legally reduce tax burdens. Paper Assets The third asset is paper assets, such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. These offer a diversified approach to investing, allowing you to tap into various markets and sectors. Although they carry risks, they also offer the potential for substantial returns, especially when managed wisely. Kiyosaki acknowledges their ease of buying and selling due to their liquidity. However, he cautions that venturing into paper assets requires a deep grasp and thorough research. A prime example is the stock market, where legends like Warren Buffett have amassed wealth. Yet Kiyosaki advises thorough education to make informed choices and minimize risks. Commodities Finally, let's talk commodities. In uncertain times, Kiyosaki urges owning tangible assets like gold and silver. He's often quoted saying, Gold and silver are money. Everything else is credit. These precious metals act as a buffer against inflation and provide stability during economic downturns. Notable investors like Miles Paulson and George Soros recognize their value in preserving and growing wealth. Gold, in particular, is hailed as a safe haven during financial crises or inflation its value tends to surge. A remarkable example is the 2008 global financial crisis. Gold's price shot up from around $850 per ounce in January 2008 to over $950 per ounce in August of the same year. As the crisis deepened, gold continued to rise, hitting an astonishing $1,900 plus per ounce in September 2011. This gold surge during the crisis was due to a few factors. Investors saw gold as a shelter in turbulent times, a haven while other investments faltered. Economic uncertainty led central banks to print more money, elevating the risk of inflation. Gold stood strong as a hedge against this inflation peril. You don't buy gold coins to make money. You Long buy term. gold coins because the dollar is going to go down. I don't trust the dollar. For most of my life, I've saved gold and silver. But everybody can buy a $20, $20 silver piece. Robert Kiyosaki has a special name for gold and silver, God's money. These metals are unique, they can't be copied or printed. But let's dive deeper into their significance. Silver isn't just precious, it's also highly useful in industries like electronics, solar panels, and medical equipment. Its dual role as both a precious metal and an industrial asset gives it an extra edge for potential value growth. Now let's talk about agricultural commodities. These go beyond precious metals and include essential resources like crops. Investing in products like wheat, corn, or soybeans lets you join the global food market. Growing populations and shifting diets have fueled demand for these commodities. By investing in them, you can contribute to global food security while potentially benefiting from price changes influenced by supply and demand shifts. By embracing these assets, you can navigate your way toward the right side of the cash flow quadrant and set yourself on a course towards financial prosperity. Real estate is a cornerstone of Kiyosaki's wealth building strategy. He advises investors to smartly use debt to leverage real estate and reap significant profits. The key is to own properties that generate steady rental income. Remember, each asset class serves a unique purpose in wealth building. Diversifying your investments across business ownership, real estate, paper assets, and commodities creates a sturdy financial portfolio that can withstand any challenges. As Kiyosaki wisely puts it, the more you learn, the more you earn. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more valuable financial insights. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in our next video.